<laughs> oh, hi there! If you're like me, you may be wondering how December just snuck right up on us and how we ever made it to the end of 2020. Well, you must know by now, I'm a glass of milk by the cookies, half full kind of guy. And so are our essential educators. Which is why we are ending this year and celebrating the holiday season with, you guessed it, some good school news. The goodness started way back with the beginning of this COVID-19 pandemic that upended school last spring. But that didn't stop teachers from teaching. They went way out of the way to make learning online come to life while letting their students know just how much they were missed in class. Even over the summer, they supersized opportunities to keep learning alive, bringing hundreds of courses, including intro to ukulele, to kids who missed school and were ready to try something new. And before the doors open to welcome students back this fall, Administrators and custodians everywhere went into overdrive to ensure the safety of every person who entered a school building. Like the Grand Rapids Public School Handyman team, Brad and Brad. When they found out what it would cost to buy plexiglass barriers to protect people, they decided to build them themselves, like hundreds of them. Other support staff stepped up big time too. Check out Southeast Kellogg'sville Elementary Custodian Quentin Doxy. He takes his job seriously, then doubles as a crossing guard before school, a lunch helper at noon, and a football, basketball, and soccer coach after school. Talk about an all-around all-star. Meanwhile, teachers were giving it their all, and then some, in the classroom and online, simultaneously. It's like. Santa being in Santa Fe and Sarasota on the same night. It's magic. I'm sorry, I just get carried away with the spirit of Christmas. Rocker's fourth grade teacher, Lauren Billing, sprung into action using three screens, lots of ingenuity and plenty of energy, engaging 10 year olds in mathematic problem solving from their own living rooms. The player with the greater number takes all the gems where would you place this? Lucia, where would you place the five and why? When you add it all up, educators have probably never worked harder. Put them all on the nice list this year, Santa. High schoolers in East Kentwood weren't about to wait for the man in red to arrive. They took teacher appreciation into their own hands this fall. Watching their instructors juggle in-person and virtual instruction inspired sophomore Jeremonte Wilson and his student council peers to honor 15 teachers chosen at random with their gratitude. A flock of them followed Freddie the Falcon into classes to bestow thanks and brighten teachers' days. Thank you. Oh, you're awesome. In Northview East Oakwood Elementary, Sydney Warner saw that lots of nonprofits in the community could use a little love too. So she set up a lemonade stand and served up enough liquid sunshine to donate $1,000 to the Dire Tribe Poetry and Spoken Word program. Her donation kept the program going through a tough stretch and earned her a philanthropy award from the West Michigan chapter of the American Fundraising Association. Did I mention that she's in third grade? <laughs> Amazing! You know who else was awesome this year? Mother Nature. Teachers from Ken ISD took learning outdoors to plant trees to help the watershed, restore land with native plants and trees for eco-friendly outdoor learning in Sparta, and at Cedar Trail School in Sparta, they combated the pandemic by combining art, music, biz ed, literature, and technology in one outdoor rec program. Four teachers outside all day, every day, which is right in line with the learning at CA Frost in Grand Rapids. We go out twice a week, all year long. There's something nature offers all seasons of the year. I learned a lot that being outside is very important. Our Education Everywhere partners are also reinventing the way they reach out educationally. Grand Rapids Public Museum created after school classes to give kids hands-on experiences with historic artifacts to enhance their classroom and online lessons. 
Waquette District Library created a one-of-a-kind satellite branch at Godfrey Lee's Alternative High, where a library had never been before. Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. And in this year, where many gave up so much, there was one thing students at all three Forest Hills high schools just couldn't do without. Hear for yourself. My resonated across districts, including in Granville, where middle school choir teacher Rachel Neviata ended up in the national spotlight for her outstanding efforts to keep music alive for her grateful students. Music is just, it provides that outlet for students, and that's really what I wanted to be able to do for my students, was to give them that outlet to be singing this year. Actually, we spoke to some of your students about the impact that you've had on them, and they wanted to tell you how much you really mean to them. She's very accepting. And she's always happy, always smiling. She just has such a good energy, and she really rubs it off on us. She takes 10, 15 minutes out of her every single day and lets us talk about how our day's gone. She checks in with us a lot. I was having trouble, you know, finding friends at the beginning of the school year, and she personally reached out to me and was like, hey, if you need anything, just contact me. I'm always here for you. I care for you as if you're one of my family members. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare, prepare room, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature and sing. And heaven and nature and sing. Heaven and heaven and nature I loved it. <laughs> On that note, it's easy to see how nothing will stop students from learning, teachers from teaching, and schools from making a lasting impact on the lives of everyone involved. As we celebrate the holidays and look forward to 2021, let's keep sharing some good school news.